Is buying an apartment building a good investment? You are actually so smart for clicking on this video and listening to this. Apartment buildings are the new thing in real estate for so many different reasons. However, we know they can get really expensive and buying the wrong one can cost you millions. I'm gonna tell you exactly what to do so that you don't fall into any of those traps. Let's go. Noel. Yeah, she can fix that. If you gotta get it done, no, you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that. Yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big step. She can fix that. Let's fix that. I'm gonna share with you three major secrets on how to invest in apartment buildings properly. I'm gonna give you the exact three things that you need to look at and how to look at them. And if you stay to the end, I'm gonna give you a major secret on how to invest in apartment buildings right now. So when it comes to real estate investing, there are so many benefits. I've been a real estate investor pretty much the right way since about 2009, 2010. As many of you may know, I actually started investing in real estate the complete wrong way in 2002 and 2003. I actually was flipping houses right off the bat. I was living in Atlanta and I was flipping houses with a job. Well, when 2008, 2009 struck, I ended up losing everything. I ended up bankrupt with multiple foreclosures and living in my parents' basement with me and my kids. It was awful. What I learned from that, because I was doing it the wrong way, overpaying for properties, being over leveraged, putting properties in my name, making all of the mistakes that newbie investors typically make, I lost it all and I had to get it back in a different way. So I actually ended up getting a coach who taught me wholesaling. And the big lesson was I needed to focus on properties where I had equity in them finding properties that were off market and that I could get for a lot cheaper than I ever could buying them with a real estate agent. He taught me how to focus on people that were having property problems, get those properties under contract, and how to start wholesaling. Eventually, I was able to get some money, I got into fixing and flipping the correct way, and then I got into rental properties. After I got enough rental properties, I literally had enough money to replace my income and I was able to quit my job. So today you are looking at a real estate millionaire and a true real estate entrepreneur. Real estate investing has changed my life and you really can start off with bad credit and no money. And now you have even more opportunities than I had back then to get into apartment buildings instead of starting with single family homes the way I did. Let me tell you about that. So like I said, I started with single family homes. I was finding people that were having property problems like being behind on their mortgage payments, facing foreclosure, going through bankruptcies, divorces, or inherited houses that they did not want. I was able to get those properties and build my real estate portfolio. In the end, I ended up getting over 42 single family homes to build my portfolio. It was awesome income, but it was a lot to manage. Because they were all single family homes, I had separate mortgages, separate taxes, separate insurance, separate property managers, and it was a real big deal keeping it all together. After a while of doing this, I quickly realized that multi-units were the way to go. Instead of having one property, one at a time, where if the tenant left, I had 0% income, when I got into multifamilies, I realized quickly that if I even had just a four unit and one of the tenants left, I still had three units that were making me income. Very different than if you just have a single family home with one tenant. Once that tenant leaves, you're out of income until you find another tenant. I then turned multi-units into apartment buildings and I've scaled it even bigger. I tell you all of this because I've learned so much in the process and now I can even tell you some shortcuts to skip right to the big money. So one of the amazing things about small apartment buildings and even large apartment buildings with hundreds of units in it is that the financing is so much different. Additionally, they do very well during economic downturns. Because people often lose their houses in recessions, for example, are marked with high unemployment, job loss, foreclosures, and loss of homes, many of those people that lose their houses have to move into apartment buildings and people tend to pay their rent prior to paying other bills that they have. Additionally, evicting someone from an apartment building is actually a pretty quick and easy process in most states. So one of the major benefits with apartment buildings is even during economic downturns, they still usually, historically speaking, do very well. They stay occupied if you maintain your apartments very well. 
Additionally, they're usually more affordable than other houses. So it's a great thing to start investing in because those people usually pay and you will still be making money in the process. So one of the things I love about apartment buildings, as you can see, is it offers me more units for less money, essentially. Because I can get more units instead of just one at a time, I'm able to scale my business a lot faster. Although you usually need more money to invest in apartments than you do single family homes, there's so many different creative financing that you can do with apartment buildings that you cannot do with single family homes. For example, if you build your business credit the way that I teach you, you actually can use borrowed money for the down payment with apartment buildings, where that's usually not allowed with a traditional mortgage on a traditional single family home. Additionally, now I've created a way where you can invest in apartment buildings with only $500. Let me tell you about that. So of course, you can learn apartment buildings and get investing in them all by yourself, or you can start with a less riskier way. I literally created a company called NuRez, N-U-U-R-E-Z.com. Please check it out, that's the website. NuRez is a company that I created to give more people an opportunity to invest in real estate with a small amount of money, and I share the profit with my investors. We're buying, leasing, and acquiring properties on a great scale, much more than you could ever do by yourself. You literally can invest as little as $500 and end up with quarterly profit distributions. Additionally, I pay my investors for submitting properties that we can either buy or lease. And you can even find ways to make money by referring other investors. I've tried to create a way where you can get multiple streams of investment from this one thing. Check out newres.com to learn more. Investing in apartments can be a little bit more complicated. That's why I gave you the option of new res. But if you want to buy apartment buildings yourself, you absolutely can. Start checking out websites like loopnet.com. That's L-O-O-P-N-E-T.com. You literally can search for free different apartment buildings that are available for sale. I strongly suggest you starting with smaller apartments if you've never owned an apartment building. I now own and manage some larger apartments and I can tell you, it can be very hectic looking at all of the paperwork and understanding the financials. But if you start with a smaller apartment building, a 10 or 12 unit for example, it'll be much easier for you to handle and you can learn the process of apartment building investing. You can start with smaller apartments, get them for a smaller amount, and try not to spend more than $100,000 per unit when you first get started. You want to be aware of apartment buildings and some of the unscrupulous people that are out there. Oftentimes there's landlords that have low occupancy rates, falling down apartments, and properties that are just not performing that they try to unload on newbie investors. That's actually one of the reasons I created New Res Inc. because I am seasoned, my team is seasoned, and we are very knowledgeable on what apartment buildings are going to be the most profitable. You want to look at the financials of the property, especially the trailing docks to see how well the property is being managed and what the occupancy rates are and how well the tenants have been paying. That's super important. Again, you can learn so much just by investing in newres.com or check out some of my other videos that I've made on apartments so you can learn the whole process and do it for yourself. Either way, it's going to be a great investment for you win-win. So now you know apartment buildings can be one of the best real estate investments out there. Again, check out my company, New Res. That's N-U-U-R-E-Z.com. The company is New Res Inc. And there are so many ways that you can start investing and learn in the process. I wanna make sure that you're getting profits and learning in the process because I wanna make sure you have all of the knowledge, all of the tools, and all of the resources that you need to be successful. This is Noelle to your success.